Praise the Lord. Now we go to Psalm 144 and verse 1. Blessed be the Lord, Jehovah, my rock, who trains my hands for war and trains my fingers for battle. The psalmist David ascribes all the military victories and achievements he has had in the battlefield to the Lord. He says, the Lord number one is my rock. He is my stability, the stability upon which I have build my life. He is the rock under my feet. You remember that old hymn, no? On Jesus, the solid rock I stand. All other ground is singing sand. All other ground is singing sand. So Jesus is the rock upon which we have built ourselves. He's the rock. And remember Jesus said, anyone who hears these words of mine and doeth them is like a wise man who builds his house upon the rock. The storms of life will come and beat against him. The floods will come. Everything will come and beat against his house, but the house will stand because it's founded on the rock. So David is saying, I have founded my faith in the rock, Jehovah. He is my rock. David says elsewhere in Psalms, he says, the Lord is my rock. And my fortress. He is my hiding place. Whom shall I fear? And whom shall I tread? You must come to the point of understanding. You know, I have told people over and over again. If you see someone succeeding where you are struggling, that person knows what you don't know. Look at David. Why is David very, very successful in the military endeavors and engagements and battles. David says, number one, because Jehovah, Lord, all capitals, because Jehovah is my rock. I am, I am a dependent. I, 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 I put all my weight on the Lord. He is my rock upon which I stand. And he says, he's not just my rock. Jehovah trains my hands for war. He trains me in the spiritual warfare. The Lord enables me to fight. And that's why I'm telling you, brethren, you need to understand the strategies of God for warfare. The way you fought the battle yesterday is not the way you are going to fight it today. It is different. You need to be always in communion with him to understand the battle. So David says, he trains my hands for war and he trains my fingers for battle. So he has given me every military strategy, every military maneuver that I need to have, to employ in order to win the battle. He has given me, I am a trained fighter in Kenya, we take our people to RTS, Regular Training College here in Eldoret. Or we take them to Lanet for those who do cadets. But you see, for you and for me, dear friend, we are not, we, we, do, we don't, we don't get, we, we are not taken into the military training college on this earth. We are trained by Jehovah to fight. <laughs> look at that young man called David. And look at his brethren, his brothers. And look at King Saul. These were professional fighters, professional soldiers, experienced professionals. But when they faced Goliath, they were dismayed and their knees were knocking against each other. They were trembling. 
They were dismayed. But a young boy who is declaring here, the Lord is my rock. Not the javelin, not the spear, not anything else. The Lord is my rock. The young man had his anchorage on God, stability on God, faith in God. He tells the king, how can this guy town the armies of Israel? When Goliath looked at the boy, he laughed because the boy was too little. And he said, oh Israel, what, what, is, what kind of joke this is? And he cast David in the name of his gods. And David told Goliath, you don't know the person you are dealing with. I am from the military school of God himself. I, I, I have the strategy of heaven. You come against me with, with the javelin, with the sword and everything. But I come against you in the name of the Lord God of the armies of Israel. Today, using the military strategy of heaven, I will chop off his, your head. And the armies of the Philistines will become food to the vultures and fowls of the air. Look at what this young man says. He tells King, uh, King Saul, the bear has come and snatched my father's sheep. And by the might of God, I have run after the bear. Those of you who really know the bear, the bear is a terrible animal. And he says, I have jumped onto the bear and broke his jaws and delivered my father's sheep. And he says, the lion also came. And you know the lion. You know, for us in Africa, the animal that we know much better than the other is the lion. We know the lion. It's, the lion is more powerful than the bear. The lion has come, taken my father's lamb. I have run toward it. I have broken its jaws. I've delivered my father's lamb. How about this uncircumcised, the person that is not in covenant? This guy that is outside the covenants of God. How can he town the armies of, the, of Israel? Today I will destroy him. David understood the military strategies. That is why David won battles. He was a man of war. He fought and won battles. The reason why he won battles is because he accepted to be trained by the Lord. Why are you trying to fight without consulting the Lord? Why are you not waiting upon the Lord to fight this battle, ma'am? Sir, why are, you not, why are you not relying on God? Is divorce the solution? Is separation the, the solution? Is, is, is this the way you need to go? Is a law, is a, is, is, is a, I mean, is get, taking this thing to the courts of law, to the police going to bring the solution? There is a better way. And the better way, I don't know it. But the Lord knows it. He wants intimacy with you. And he will show you the best way of fighting in this battle. Father, we give you praise and glory that you train our hands for war. And our fingers for battle. I pray that, Lord, you help my brothers to sit in your college, military college, and be trained of you to fight and win the battles that will bring glory and honor to the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. This broadcast was brought to you by Angelos TV. To continue enjoying this spiritual nourishment, click on subscribe button below. Click on the notification bell to become the first to know when we upload another video. Thank you and see you in our next broadcast.